to a type of graffiti that some people say has gone out of control. It's called tagging, and if you've been to Brick Lane in East London recently, you'll have seen it. Here's what happened when local journalist Roger Foss tried to track down a prolific tagger called Kende. Everywhere you look in Brick Lane, there are amazing and eclectic pieces of art. But the real issue in Brick Lane is the huge distinction between what is known as street art and what some say has become a blight on the area, tagging. I've decided to look into it, and almost immediately as I walk down Brick Lane, I come across a shopkeeper, furious that his premises has just been tagged. To clean this, you're looking at about at least a couple of thousand quid. Tower Hamlet spends upwards of half a million on graffiti removal every year, and London-wide it costs seven million. Right, here's one here, look. Kende, K-E-N-D-E, -E, and a little squiggle at the end. That's just off Brick Lane. It's on the wall of a shop. It's just suddenly appeared overnight. The shop owner's going to have to find a lot of money to clear it all off. In fact, locals say Kendi's name and that of his crew, ELV, occurs again and again, all over Shoreditch, Allgate East and Tower Hamlet. I want to find out more about this tagger called Kendi. On a site from a gallery in Verona called KM Studios, it names the artist as Akile Soabi. I'm going to tell the owner of the house sprayed by Kende who is responsible. I've discovered that, in fact, he's not what I imagine him to be. He looks like a fashionista. He's affecting people's lives, their homes, um, their schools. Let him come along and clean that off, and I will happily supply the hot water. We finally tracked down Akali Suadi and called him to offer him the chance to answer our allegations, but he declined to be interviewed. It remains to be seen whether the authorities will succeed in their efforts to stop taggers like Kende blighting the neighbourhood. In the meantime, we'll be handing our dossier to Tower Hamlet. And you can see more from Roger Foss on tonight's edition of Inside Out London at half past seven on BBC One. And a reminder, if you miss it, you can watch it whenever you like on the BBC iPlayer.